it kind of reminds me of the kind of people that only happen to have friends that are like traditionally very very cool they don't have any friends that are like a little bit square a little bit normy a little bit broy, you know for lack of a better term a term that i absolutely die you know detest especially when it's used to classify people and put people in a box i think i would get triggered by it recently um random story but if you listen to a podcast called how long gone it's pretty decent um, with this guy called Dem Jeans and Chris Black, who's a writer who's a bit snarky on Twitter, but you know, if you get past all the snark, he's a fairly good um, cultural commentator when it comes to talking about, you know, menswear, when it comes to talking about stuff on the internet, music, you know, just the cool shit that I'm into. And they had a podcast episode recently with an artist that I quite like, but I got turned off by listening to her on a podcast um, called Japanese Breakfast. And she was obviously promoting a book that she has out, a memoir, and I think a new record has come out. Yeah, it has come out. She's got a new album that just dropped, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, she was super re rude on that podcast, man. She kept talking about bros and she didn't know the podcast was what she was on. Her manager just told her to go on it. And when she described it, when the manager described it as a Japanese breakfast, she re regarded it as a, a bro cast, right? And she was like going on about oh, how she doesn't, you know, just doesn't vibe with bros and her boyfriend or fiance could never be a bro because she would never date one. Like just being really disparaging. And then kind of she uh, categorized Tame Impala, one of my favorite bands, as a bro band. I was like, huh? And again, Again, this isn't me being triggered because I'm a bro. I don't think I'm a bro whatsoever. I'm just a flipping human. I am Agostino Zinga. I am nobody, right? I don't want any any bloody classifications or putting me in any kind of box. But it just annoyed me the kind of looking down on people like, uh, you're a bro. What? And just because I if I happen but if I happen to like the same bands that she liked, automatically she would be my friend. It's like, but you don't know me as a person. What does what do the bands have to do with the character of somebody? What does it what does that have to do with anything? Do you know what I mean? It's so bizarre. And she was talking about how a few say reads prost or something like jog on jog on absolutely hate it really made me despise her. that's why sometimes it's not good to like um that's why i'm not really a big fan of techno twitter too much because you're not really meant to be dissecting or absorbing your favorite artist's political views or their ideas on society or what they think of the Sopranos. I don't care, right? I should be listening or I should be absorbing what Ricardo Villalobos does behind the decks. I should be listening to he, his flipping 26 minute remixes. I shouldn't be sitting on Twitter, you know, arguing with him about neoliberalism. That shouldn't be you know, neoliberalism. <laughs> yeah, I, I messed that up. But honestly, that should shouldn't be his purview that really shouldn't be his purview and that shouldn't be what fans should be absorbing and i think because i listen to that podcast now i'm probably never going to listen to another japanese breakfast record in my life and of course she won't care because she probably regard me as being a bro but that really annoyed me anyway going back to the story i think people like that are also the kind of people that only happen to have cool friends like all their friends work at interesting magazines and at cool design agencies and all this sort of nonsense and i hate them i hate them because they all think they're different but they're all the same they all go to the same bars they wear the same clothes listen to the same stuff they speak in the same way have the same political views like jog on there's nothing interesting about you whatsoever whatsoever and those are the same people that underneath this hella good guy, is his name? I think his name's hella good. Um, they underneath his picture when he did an amazing feat of like running from LA to New York and they're like, I'm so proud of you. Well done. I always knew you could do it. What do you mean? What is this? I, 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 I. Congratulate the guy and keep it moving. It has nothing to do with you. You didn't run those miles. You did nothing. Yes, you might know him because he's a cool guy, but you did nothing to contribute to his running. Zero. Even if you showed him how to do a push up, it doesn't count. I hate that, man. I'm so proud of you. What? Proud of me? Like, what? for what? Like, honestly, it's just, I don't know, man. I, sometimes it, I, I see those posts that shouldn't really annoy me, but it does trigger me so much like, because these people are horrendous. Like I said, they always happen to have cool friends. Why are all your friends into the same stuff you're into? Why do all your friends know who Paco Rabanne is? Why do all your friends know who John, Taka, John Takahashi is? John Takahashi is, sorry. Right? Why? Why do all your friends know them? They should, th that doesn't make any sense. I actually pride myself on having, you know, even though I don't have a close group of friends, I know a lot of people and they kind of, you know, they cover a whole remit of interests, a whole remit of areas and socioeconomic groupings and whatever it may be. Whole remit. I wouldn't want to be sitting around listening to my friends who, who happen to have interned at Flipping Vice magazine. That would be one boring party, one boring dinner table. Like, yuck. 
but some people are just like that and they want to have a they want to have a, a social circle that basically reflects who they are as people which is a bit like it's a bit weird but hey what can you do a bit a bit odd but hey i guess um people are proud isn't it people are proud